Hi, I'm Josh. This is my channel Newtons Per Second. Welcome, everyone. This is the wrap-up video of this whole journey to Level 3 certification, and I am excited to announce that I did achieve my uh, Level 3 certification flight at LDRS 42 Partners New York, and what an amazing time. Before I get too far into the certification flight, I want to back up to Part 6 of this build series, and that was to cover tip-to-tip fiberglassing on the fins, paint, decals, ground testing, making the parachute. So after that part six, the rocket was ready to fly. And part seven was supposed to be the, uh, the test flight. And then part eight, head to LDRS, getting the certification done. So that Saturday before LDRS, my wife and I took a trip out to Pine Island, New York. There's a club out there called Metro and they have a really nice field to fly out of and I wanted to do my test flight there on an Aerotech 1520 uh, Blue Thunder motor and for my certification flight I'm using the 1780 New Thunder motor so I feel like it's kind of a pretty good uh, pre-test. So I get the rocket all ready to go, we, we head down, I get the rocket set up, it's on the pad, yeah, and this happened. Four, three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell? Oh, no. So I'm at complete disbelief what I'm witnessing. This rocket blowing up in the air. I don't know what it may be about 50 feet, 70 feet, and the motor Kato. Worst case scenario, that's Saturday, June 1st. I'm going to LDRS Thursday, you know, that's only days away. And, uh, you know, I plan on certifying Thursday that have the rest of the time there to do some other things. Well, you know, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm standing there watching pieces of this rocket literally just raining down on the ground. Um, thank God that the upper section all performed on the recovery end. Um, it, you know, it all worked just as designed, so all that was brought down safely. But as far as the uh, the fin can section, you know, you could tell that that vaporized. Yeah, so that was one of those tough moments, uh, pretty emotional and upsetting. Um, you know, you got a lot of stuff going through your head. You know, you know days you're going to go try to certify, and um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty as tough. Um, but with the support of the members that were there, I had some friends there, um, they're like, you're gonna get through this, you're gonna rebuild. Um, the guy that hit the button, the launch button, was uh, my uh, my L3CC Rakamshaw, and he's just like, positive words, he got my head on straight. He's like, you're gonna recover, you'll be fine. If you, we can't do this at LDRS, we can do it somewhere else. He said, don't worry, we'll take a trip somewhere. And then online, the support from people even I don't even know, you know, they're reaching out to me, saying, hey, I'm sorry, I heard what happened. Um, you know, some people are like, if you need a case, when I fire mine off at of LDRS, you know, you can use mine. Um, you know, so I was like, wow, that's a, that was, that's an emotional thing right there. That, was, that meant a lot. Um, so it kind of lit a fire in me with everyone supporting me, and Sunday, made a decision, I'm going to rebuild this rocket, rebuild the booster section, and, um, you know, I'm going to make my attempt for the L3. And what I ended up doing was taking the Jupiter 3 upper airframe, because you have to build something new. I can't take, like, an old booster section and, you know, to do your L3. It's all going to be brand new stuff or, you know, a new build. So I took the upper airframe from the Jupiter 3, cleaned the inside because you have ejection charge residue in there. And I went through a rebuild process. So that Sunday, my wife and I went to a lot of stores, went to Home Depot, Staples. You know, I am out of epoxy. I am out of airframe tubes. Like, I don't have any motor tubes or nothing. So we went to Home Depot to get new plywood for the fins and center rings. Um, and also epoxy, I'm out of epoxy. You know, it's too late to get this stuff shipped to my house and have this thing built. 
So I just got five minute epoxy. I got a, a huge thing of JV Weld. And then we went to Staples and I picked up a three inch mailing tube, which fits, um, it's a, it fits 75 millimeter uh, motors. And so Sunday I worked all the way till 2.30 in the morning, Monday morning, and then Monday I went back at it again, worked on it all the way till Tuesday, about 2, 2.30 in the morning, and then Wednesday I worked on it till about midnight, and then the thing was finally done. It was painted, decaled. I even pulled the decals off the booster because I, I somehow I, I saved them, <laughs> and I was able to apply them, and this thing, you know, it almost looked like nothing ever happened except for the back end. I have a 75 millimeter rather than 98. So at this point, I am pretty beat, tired, but we have to leave four o'clock in the morning. You know, it's midnight now. You know, it's like in four hours, I, we have to leave for Potter's New York. So I still have to pack the car, get everything in there, make sure, you know, I got my checklists and all these things that I need. So I'm super thankful that my wife drove. I got some sleep in the car on the way over there. And we get there and the weather is not nice. You know, anyone that's seen any of the uh, LDRS 42 videos, and I mean, there was a lot of mud, there was a lot of rain. Thursday, um, there was only a few flights, things got shut down. Um, there might have been a shot I had to fly, but the, uh, they were watching the ceiling height of the, uh, the, cloud, the cloud deck, so it was, a lot of times it got knocked down to say 2,500 feet to 4,000 feet. Um, you know, so Thursday really wasn't a good day to, to fly. And then when the real bad rain hit, people were getting stuck. Um, Friday was another, I believe, a bad day of rain. Um, we got out of there before it started raining uh, late morning. And I went back to the hotel. So that left Saturday. Saturday was a sunny day but high winds and we got there and it was no joke that those winds were pretty strong um but me and my friends that went down we're like we're gonna fly this so this is the first time i've been to a big event like this i have never seen anything over an l in person uh light up and to see m motors and n and an o was incredible <laughs> Um, something I'll never forget. That was awesome. Uh, I got to meet Aerotech for the first time. Uh, Carl, Charlie, and Gary. Um, I got a picture with those guys. Um, I also got to meet Braden from Rocket Vlogs. That was cool. I also love this picture with me and uh, Bob and Ken, my friends. Uh, we all did our L3 there. Um, and we all have the same L3CC at uh, Rick Comshaw. Actually, there was five of us all together. There's Jim and uh, one other guy. Um, I don't think I know, but um, so we're all successful flying. So that's five L3 certs and all successful. So congrats to everyone. <laughs> we got through that. So all I have to say is this has been an incredible journey. It really, uh, it taught me a lot about myself. I learned a lot more about rocketry, which is what this program is supposed to do when you go for your L3. You want to come out as a better rocketeer, um, and you're, you, you have a good L3CC that um, you know, can mentor you into a better um, rocketeer. And um, I think I pulled off probably one of the, <laughs> the greatest comebacks I've ever done. Uh, I, you know, and that shows you something about yourself too, that you know, to have this ability or something in you to, to fight through and to accomplish some pretty amazing things. So I wanna say thanks again to a few key people. One, Rick Comshaw for being my L3 CC and being amazing, always there, pick up the phone for any questions I have. Um, definitely a great support. I like to thank John Banks who witnessed the flight and again, another invaluable resource of knowledge and uh, appreciate everything that you know you helped me with and put my mind at ease when I had some questions also. And uh, you know, my friend Bob Valding, um, reaching out to him, Peter Wade, you know, another source uh, helped me out. And I think most of all, my wife, Bonnie, I definitely could not have done this 
without her, without her support. She's been amazing through this. Um, I, I can't thank her enough. All right, I'm gonna start playing the flight videos. The first set will be from June 1st, that test flight on the Aerotech 1520 Blue Thunder motor, that whole Cato event. And then after that will be all the uh, L3 videos, um, the, the certification at LDRS 42, and they'll have pictures, mix of pictures and videos. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for following this whole build series. I'm gonna add this to the playlist. So all the videos will be put together. And I do appreciate everyone's support watching these videos. You know, a thumbs up, um, hit the subscribe button. It helps these little channels out quite a bit. So thanks again. And uh, yep, level three certification finally. Woo! <laughs> we have Josh Drummond, Jupiter 4. His level three test flight L1520 Aerotech. This should be really cool. Get your cameras ready, and we're gonna fly in five, four, three, two, one. Oh no! Oh no! What the hell? Heads up, Thing move.